uh, as you should be aware, uh, for mo for most of Islam's early and medieval history, uh, the Jews were allowed to live in Muslim lands and flourish in ways that they were not allowed to live and flourish in uh, Christian lands. And so some of the greatest Jewish minds actually lived in Muslim lands. You have uh, people like in uh, Baghdad and Iraq, Saadia Gaon, for example, right? Uh, you have, of course, Ma Moses Maimonides, Musa ibn Maimun, the greatest uh, Jewish thinker in the entire history of Judaism, Ram Bam, they call him the great rabbi, the great father, you know, Moses Maimonides. Moses Maimonides spoke fluent Arabic. He memorized the Quran. He studied in a madrasa for a period of time. It is even alleged that he was a Muslim, or at least he acted like a Muslim, meaning he lived like a Muslim. Not that he's pretending he is, but basically he's immersed in the seminary. He went through seminary education. And then, of course, because he's a rabbi, then he goes his way. It's like one of us goes through, uh, if we were to study at Harvard, Yale, Princeton back in the 1600s, okay? you would have to study proper Christianity because they were seminary uh, institutes. The same way Muslim institutes were all Islamic. And, you know, anyway, this, by the way, this is all a tangent. <laughs> I'm not talking about Moses, Maimonides, and Saadia Gon. My point is, before I move on, uh, Saadia Gon, Moses, Maimonides, others of this nature, they're talking about the attributes, right? And they bring in notions of the attributes, which are, by the way, very Mu'tazidi. Really interesting, they're taking it from the Muslims, who are taking it from these uh, Orthodox Christians. So, Jewish thinkers did not debate amongst themselves about the attributes until Muslims came along and they are living amongst the Muslims and finding uh, these types of attributes. Anyway, all, all of this is anyway a, a, a side point here. 